Hi guys, it's Alejandra, and in this video, I am gonna share with you guys how I organize all of my bills, my mail, and all of my paper projects on my desk. So maybe like two or three videos ago, I did another video on how to organize your mail, but that was in my, that was in my old house when I was using my alpha desk that was built into the wall. In the new house, I have a brand new desk. I just have a traditional freestanding desk and I have my mail center on top of my desk. So the system is completely different um, and I just wanna share with you guys what I'm doing, what works, and um, hopefully you guys can take some tips from this video and apply them in your own home office if you are struggling with uh, organizing your paper. So let me grab the camera and show you guys exactly uh, what I've been doing. Okay, so this is my new bill paying center, mail center slash paper project management center, if that makes sense. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not using my alpha desk so nothing is built into the wall. It's all freestanding on top of a desk. This, um, this organizer is made by Rubbermaid and it's from Staples. It's kind of, it has like a staircase step to it. Um, so when the files are in each of the, the sections, you can read the label because if there was no, no staircase, if it was just flat, you wouldn't be able to see the labels when you're sitting down at the desk. You'd only be able to see the first one, not the one in the back. So the staircase is really nice. The reason why I picked this step file sorter is because it was... In my opinion, it was the best quality. It had sides to it. A lot of the other file sorters didn't have sides, and I felt like if the papers just hang out, it would be messy, and this was just more contained. So this one was a little bit more expensive, um, but in my opinion, it, I just feel like everything is contained, it's organized, um, it's sturdy, like this thing is not going anywhere. Okay, so let me first explain this sorter. This is the mail sorter, and then over here is the paper project sorter. So this sorter here, this is where all of my mail, let me just straighten the camera. This is where all of my mail goes through here. Okay, so when I get the mail, I'm gonna immediately go through my mail and figure out if anything can be trashed, shredded, or recycled. Once I take care of that, everything else that remains needs to go through my mail sorter. So this folder here is stuff that I'm not really clear on what the action is. So maybe I get a letter in the mail or a statement or a bill and it doesn't really spell out what the next step is, but it requires me to call someone, ask someone, or cancel, then I'm gonna put that piece of paper inside this folder, and then at the end of the week, or next week, or you know, maybe on the 15th of the month, whatever your, your schedule or your routine is, I'm gonna go through this folder and actually call that person, ask someone, or pick up the phone and cancel something. So this is my call, ask, cancel for things that um, I'm not sure what the, the action step is. This next folder is bills to pay. This is, this is pretty obvious. So if I get a bill in the mail and I need to pay it through the regular mail or I need to pay it online, I'm going to put the bill inside this folder and then um, pay my bills on the day that I actually pay bills, which is going to depend on your routine and your schedule. Um, okay, this next one this is where I keep all of my address labels. So my stamps and address labels all go into one folder, and this is a pretty cool folder. Um, this is made by Pendaflex, and it is a folder with sections in it. So it has three sections in it, three pockets. Um, there's one, there's two, and then there's three. So I have stamps in the first one, I have my home address labels, these are my old ones, and then I have my work um, address labels on the third pocket. So these are, these are called Pendaflex Divided Up. These are cool. Okay, so those are my address labels. Okay, uh, papers to file. So this folder here has all of my papers that I need to file. Sorry it's so loud outside, the trash man is here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But um, okay, so moving on. This folder is papers to file. So whenever I pay a bill, and this is a question a lot of you guys had. Whenever I pay a bill, I need to decide if I need to keep that bill, to keep that, you know, that bottom statement and file it, or if I can get rid of it. If I need to keep it, um, if it's important, and it's hard to tell you what's important and what's not important because everybody's bills and papers and documents are all different. Um, if it's important, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna file it. If it's not important and the statement or the bill 
can be um, accessed online, like if it's a cable bill or if it's electricity or water or um, what, what other bills. Anything that the company makes available online 24-7 and can be reproduced, I will just shred the bill um, because I know it can be reproduced, so if there's ever a problem, I can just go online and access my bill. If the bill is something that cannot be reproduced, or if it's tax related, or if it is a, um, a bank statement or credit card statement that I haven't double checked yet to make sure it's accurate, then I will go ahead and put it in the papers to file, um, file it. Of course, before I file it, I'm going to check to make sure it's accurate, but I'm probably going to do that when I'm paying the bill. Um, but again, it's going to depend on your situation and what kind of stuff you have to determine if you need to keep your bills. Okay, and then this folder here is my QuickBooks folder for doing all of the books for my um, my business. So this is handled on a monthly basis. I'll just come in, I'll look, I'll print that, print out the statement, and match it to all my expenses to make sure that everything um, matches and is accurate. Okay, and then in the back I have two poly envelopes just like this. Okay, so this envelope right here is where I keep all of my home receipts for anything that I buy for the house or for myself or for others. If I buy something for the house, for myself or for others, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or they're gonna keep it, I'll put the receipt in here and then I will get rid of it when I'm 110% sure that the person is gonna keep it. Um, the receipts that I don't put in here are things that have a big ticket price, like furniture, stuff with a warranty, stuff that I could resell a few years from now and I want to show proof of how much it was paid. Receipts like that will go inside the filing cabinet. And now that I'm talking about it, maybe I should um, I should do a video on, on how that is organized. Okay, so these are just things I'm not sure I'm going to keep, home receipts. And if it makes more sense, put a label here or wherever you're putting your receipts and say um, receipts just in case I return something, like to make it very clear. Okay. The other folder I have here is my business receipts. I had a more complicated system. This is a poly envelope also. I had a more um, a complicated system, but I simplified my receipts recently, and uh, now I just need a small folder. Okay, so those are my poly envelopes. Okay, so this file sorter is where I keep all of my paper projects that I'm working on during the day at work. So on any given day when I'm sitting at my desk doing work, um, I have all of these I have all of these folders laying on my desk open and I'm going through papers, you know, checking things off and stuff. And then at the end of the day, all the papers will go back into its folder um, and then back into the mail center, or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the mail center, but the project center. So any file folders that are inside of my project sorter are current projects. So let's say I'm done with my email template project. When I'm done with this project, I'm gonna take this folder and I'm gonna either file it in my filing cabinet or I'm gonna get rid of the folder um, if I don't need to keep the papers. That's gonna depend on, on what the papers are. Um, but anything here is all current stuff that I'm working on. I like to keep current stuff that I'm working on in front of me where I can see it, I can remember what I'm doing, I can remember what my goals are, um, and it's, it's just very visual. Um, so that's why I like this. Okay, so email templates is a project. Ideas I wanna do, this is a folder of like new products I wanna come out with notes, conference call notes, um, stuff related to ideas that I want to do. Sequences, that's another project that I'm working on. When I'm done with that, I'm going to either get rid of those papers or I'm going to file them and then that folder becomes archived. Um, website redesign. So we are in the middle of redesigning our brand new website. It's going to launch next month. I'm super excited for it. Um, but those are all the notes and all the papers and all the documentation for the website redesign that we're doing. And then in the very back is where I just have blank folders. So when these projects are done, I can, you know, file them um, and bring a new folder down. Or if I'm going to reuse this, I can just take that label off and put another label on it or just stick another label on top of the old one. So again, this is where I keep all of my paper projects that I'm working on during the day at work. They're all sorted by category or by project in folders that are labeled 
in a file sorter where I can see everything, I can see the labels, I can remember what I'm doing. And then on this side is for all of my mail, my bills, and um, stuff that needs to be filed and stuff I need to take action on. So everything, as you can see, is very visual, so it's hard to miss a folder. It's very clear where things go, and um, it's just nice and tidy. And it's all contained in a file sorter that has edges where the paper is gonna stay inside and not fall out. Okay, so that's how I've been organizing all of the paper that comes into the house in my home office. If you have a question, feel free to leave it below. If you have a comment or you have a different way of organizing your paper, mail, or, um, or anything else that comes into your home office, um, I would love to see a video, create a video response, and let me see, let everyone else see, and together we can all be a little bit more organized. I will see you guys soon. Bye.